Hey Professor, I've just received some terrible news. I can't believe you found the bloody videos. Hey, give me some credit, Jen. I mean, they weren't exactly that hard to find. But they're on the internet, which doesn't even work in Hogwarts. Do you want to know a really great trick? What? Don't leave your laptop unattended. I mean, someone might just waltz in and find them. Tracy Baxter, did you hack into my laptop? Well, not exactly. I mean, you already logged in. I was just feeding my curiosity. Besides, I'm an extremely loyal friend. And, well, if they're in a top secret folder, I wouldn't just, you know, watch them or anything. Besides, you told us all about them, so, you know, I thought they were like a free-for-all. Actually, I've been meaning to ask, how the hell do you even get this thing to work in the first place? <gasps> now this is interesting. It's actually one of the cameras that the Daily Prophet uses, just with a bit more technology added so that it can record video and send what I've recorded over to be edited. It's all really complicated and won't bore you with the details, but I did use one of these little booklet things that they give to new journalists so that I could understand how the bloody thing worked in the first place, and then I just adapted it from there. And you know what? I'm bloody proud of the results. So you should be. I mean, you have no idea how much my Game Boy freaked out on Hogwarts Express in first year. And a camera's way more, like, complicated than that. You've got a Game Boy. Can I please, please, please have a look at it? Uh, as much as I would like to, Jay, it's kind of at home right now. In summer, then? Well, the thing is, my sister owns it, and you know she's not going to give that up in a million years. Ugh, oh, yeah, at least she's a little ridiculous like that. Anyway, so what about your laptop? Honestly, that one took a while. I mean, I had to take everything apart, try putting ch different charms on whatever it is that I could find, and then put it back together again. The Magical World doesn't exactly have anything like it, like with the camera, so... I didn't have anything I could use as a guide either, and I couldn't use Repairo since the magic used to fuse everything back together would just block the circuits and stop the flow of electricity. Wow, look at you. You sound like my old physics textbook. Huh? Never mind. Continue. Well... There isn't much else that I can really say. I mean, I took it all apart, put the charms on it, and then put it back together. Voila! A working laptop for your everyday witch. <laughs> not very technical, are you? Hey, come on, I just got this thing. And besides, it's not that the library has any textbooks on how different muggle devices work or anything. <gasps> Although I wish they did. Can you imagine? No. But it sounds interesting. It is! Honestly, it must be so fascinating to see how all these different muggle devices work. Like washing machines. Washing machines? Okay, look, I have no idea how the soap, or whatever it is that you use, infuses with the clothes to make them clean. Do you know? Not that this is interesting to me, Jay, but electronics really aren't my cup of tea. Oh. Now, Quidditch, on the other hand, that's something I could talk about. Right. You know, recently, I've been looking into the mechanics of how broomsticks stay. Really? Brooms? Hey, come on. I let you talk about your muggle gadgets. The least you can do is listen to me talking about the intricacies of flying broomsticks. But you asked me about these muggle gadgets. And I listened intently. The least you can do is return the favour. It's the nice thing to do. You're such a Hufflepuff. Hey, come on. I managed to bump your grade up in the space of one video, and you won't even let me have my fun. Wait. What? You haven't even talked about how you manipulated muggle technology, which is something I'm sure Professor Burbage would be very interested in. Especially if I'm interested in it, and I don't even have the fascination that you do with muggle stuff. You're welcome, Professor. Anyway, as a thank you, how about you let me blather on about Quidditch? And Sam can't do this because... Because you owe me. Fine. But I'll need food to get through this, you idiot. Fair enough. I'm just going to go to the kitchens and get a load of food and then listen to your boring little lecture on Quidditch, okay? Okay. Oh, and Trace? 